Cities are such colorful places, and Baldur's Gate is no different than any of the others I have been to in my years of working as a sailor on merchant ships. Brothels, circuses, toy makers, zoos, clogged full of refugees during times of crisis, and just an overall pleasant place to live during normal times. I'm being sarcastic there. In my experience, they are loud, smelly, dirty, and full of miscreants. The city guards are often corrupt and either won't lift a finger to help or do so because they are the ones trying to fleece you of coin. It's no wonder I choose to live where few do. I trust my family and nature, but everything else, well, no. And I learned to live a guarded life as a sailor. There, if danger wasn't from a fellow sailor, it was from the sea itself. Spread word of the might of Holy Umberly and let no service be performed in her name without price. Make folk fear the wind and the waves, unless a priest of Umberly be present to protect them. Excerpt from the Umberlent Dogma Pirates were not as great a threat to the shipping along the Sword Coast, at least in my time as a sailor. There we did hear about them from time to time. Fortunately, the ships I served on had no problems with them, or I might not be here today. However, the seas could still be treacherous, and it wasn't uncommon to have a priest of Umberley along with us just to make sure that the voyage was a safe one. Captains paid well for this, but at least it more likely guaranteed calm waters and gentle skies. I came to know this one priestess, and had sailed with her about a dozen times over a year. Umberley is not known for being a gentle, kind, caring god. Instead, she was quite the opposite and her priestesses were no different. This priestess was a strange woman by the name of Serenus. you think she was revered by the sailors and crew I worked with. More like feared, but no one aboard the ship would speak a bad word about her, not even in port, or when we were on land, where we should have been safe. Everyone was terrified of her. Oh, it wasn't that she was a scary person. It was, however, the reputation of her kind, and this one had a strange look, in which many sailors feared to even meet her gaze. The seas can be treacherous, yes, and the priestesses of Umberley were usually temperamental and cruel, just like the seas. After about half a dozen trips with Priestess Seranus, I must have caught some nasty bug from the tavern before boarding the ship. I was as sick as one could be, vomiting and diarrhea everywhere. The ship's doctor had me quarantined along with the ship's cargo below decks. He requested that the priestess come to see me. This is where I learned that they charge you beforehand for curing you. The captain refused to pay, so it was up to me. I hesitated because it was a few hundred gold, which is what I made in about a month. But the doctor was concerned that I might not make it, so I reluctantly agreed to pay her. Funny enough, once I got better, I mustered the courage to approach her, to thank her for her aid. Everyone watched me with trepidation as I did so. No one ever spoke to her except for maybe the captain and the doctor occasionally. And there she was in her usual spot along the railing during the day, watching the ocean around us as we sailed south from Waterdeep. Turned out she wasn't as unfriendly as I had originally feared, but that story will have to wait. Now that we have entered Worms Crossing, the great big bridge that spans across the mighty Chianthar, we can really get down to why we came here to Baldur's Gate. Gortash is nearby, but we've been focusing on other concerns, namely Raphael the Devil. As ludicrous as it may sound, it seems we have a more immediate concern than the Chosen and the Absolute. The Elder Brain is trying to break free from the Chosen control. This because I have one of the three Nether Stones which means it will eventually do so, and when it does, it could destroy Baldur's Gate, or even all of the Sword Coast, possibly all of Faerun. To stop it, Raphael tried to bargain with me. No, I didn't take his deal. To give him the nether crown that sits atop the Elder Brain, so he can then become ruler of all the hells, was a bit too much. All nine hells? Hm. Who knows what he could do with that level of power? Though one thing is for certain, we must at one point free Orpheus to deal with the Elder Brain, or it will be the end of us all. To break Orpheus's chains in the Astral Prism, we need the Orphic Hammer. 
Once I chose not to get it immediately from Raphael with his deal, the only other option is to go to his Hellplane and take it ourselves. It's a daunting task, but then so has been facing the Absolute and their chosen masters since I woke up on the Nautiloid. Just another long and dangerous quest to do what needs to be done. Oh, the dangers we have to navigate in order to end all this seems near infinite and quite exhausting. So it seems crazy to me that Queen Vlacketh herself, well, a projection of her, came to our camp to demand we kill Orpheus. What's a joke? We would be killing ourselves if we did such a thing because the Absolute would have complete control over us. But that also goes to show just how desperate she is to stop us from freeing him. So that is just what we will do when we can. And when all is done, I just want to relax and live a normal, peaceful life for what I can foresee is years right now. But we have to get to that point. We're not quite there yet. Hmm. So obviously the halfling wasn't the dwarf, though, I mean, he's wearing red. It did stick out to me. And when I first saw him, I thought, was wondering if it was the dwarf. But when I obviously spoke to him, I could see he's not a dwarf. Hello. Word to the wise. Word to Give the wise. Give that ill-mate to Temple a wide berth. Rude buggers. Certainly not bringing my trade there again. Hmm. To be fair, their high priest just died. Does that excuse being rude? Excluding folk? Come off it. They wouldn't let me in. Spouted some tripe about my sort and absolutist murderers. I only wanted to sit down a minute. What's your trade? Let me show you. Oh, are you like a smuggler? Hmm, nice healing potions. Not that we have the gold. Oh, this is cheap. I don't really think that we need anything. Oh, this is also really nice, too. And, of course, I have nothing to sell. So, I guess we have to spend our money. There's your coin. Pleasure doing business. Thanks for the healing potions. I actually have a lot of the superior healing potions. Uh... Uh, kind of too much. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to um, share this amongst my companions. Alright. Everyone here and back in camp have three of them. What's going on? Bloody ages we spent hiking from Murren. And they won't let us in the city proper. Bollocks. We're adventurous, damn it. From Murren? Hmm. Why won't they let you in? The bridge guard had some shite about a coronation. Couldn't really make head nor tail of it. Hello. Come to Baldur's Gate, he said. Adventurers get welcomed as heroes, he said. Poxy Drim and his bleeding notions. Wait a sec. That's the wrong way. I'm supposed to be looking this way. No, that's the way we came in. I thought this gate was closed. Oh, it's, it is at the far end. Are you sure? Alright. Well, we have a key. This adventurer lark is rubbish. Should have listened to me, da. Become a tanner. Bet they're gasping for tanners in Baldur's Gate. Actually, I wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't know what city has. Shortage of tanners. Hello there. Blooming hell, you look famished. I've I got do. some victuals that'll warm you right up. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit peckish. What do you have? Have a skeg at these. A skeg, eh? 
fruit porridge, mashed potatoes, potato wedges, roughly cut ham. We are pretty good with food. Thank you very that much. Should do ya. All right, upstairs we go. All right, so I would assume it's a closed room that the key would fit. Or could it be to one of these chests? Or would you have to try each one? All right, anyways, we'll try rooms first after we speak to people. Hello. We should go. Oh. I do not want to face the master if we're late for his black Vampire? Soon, Vampires. Sister. I only need one more mark. We Look at their teeth. For the master. No more needed. It's not for the master, it's for me. I spent 100 years eating rats and dogs, but soon I'll be able to feast. I want someone there ready for me. And once the mass is done and our lord grants us freedom, I can celebrate by drinking them dry. Casador promised you your freedom, and you believed him. Ha! You were never burdened with intelligence, Petras. But your load seems especially light these days. Astarian? It... It cannot be. Well, that's no way to welcome back a brother, Dal. <laughs> Didn't you miss me? Why would you come back? You got out. You were free. Hmm. We're here to kill Casador. It's the only way you'll be free. You, you can't mean that. He's playing mind games. He can't raise a hand to the master, let alone kill him. You have no idea what I can do. Why does Cazador need me? What is he planning? Brother, please! Hmm. Talk or burn, your choice. Just a vampire. You heard them. Tell me what I need to know. Now! The Master is preparing the Black Mass. Beneath his palace, there's a defiled chapel. It was hidden there the entire time, hidden from us all. Keep talking. The Black Mass, it will be his triumph. He'll complete the ritual and emerge the Vampire Ascendant. He'll walk in the sun. He'll be free of the hunger. He'll wield power no vampire has ever possessed. Best of all, we'll join him. His loyal servants walking in the light as living vampires. We'll be free, brother. <laughs> you can't believe that. You can't be that stupid. We deserve this, Astarian. Can't you see? We've given him everything. Our blood and tears. And he's finally going to reward us. And you will be with us when the time comes. It's fate, written in your very flesh. Hmm. They warn him we're coming. Yes, and they'll be trembling in fear when they tell him. They're no threat to us. And they have no choice but to do Cazador's bidding. I pity them. Still, though, a living vampire. Hmm. <laughs> you sound interested in that. Who wouldn't be interested? It's the ultimate freedom. Living freedom vampire. from the hunger. Freedom to live a real life in the sun. No temple required. And if I were to ascend instead of him, freedom from Cazador, once and for all. Interesting. Is it possible for you to take his place? Well, 
it might be. And there's only one way to find out. I have to know. I have to face him. Hmm. I'm with you, no matter what. <laughs> I knew I was right about you. You're a true friend. And now we know he's skulking beneath his palace. We can take the hunt to Cazador. All right, let's go. This place stinks of rat blood and despair. Hmm. We learned Cazador plans to perform a ritual that will grant him incredible power, and that Asterion is part of it. They revealed it's taken place in a defiled chapter, chapel beneath Cazador's palace before turning to mist and disappearing. Well, I suppose I shouldn't try to break into anything here. It's not that I'm a thief. Whoop. We have moss. I'll take that. There's chests all over the place. All it said is the flop house on that key. So... Hey, he hello. What do you reckon, lad? You trust these steel watcher thingamajigs? <laughs> I trust them, but as far as I can throw them. Oi, I'll second that. It's all right where well, we can get work repairing them, but what happens when they build something else to do that? Ah, it's no good, I tell you. You mean make a machine to repair the machine? I'll give it a shot. Ooh. Tempers are rising. It's clear not everything you find is at your disposal. Could this be the room we're looking for? This looks a uh, room to have a bath. All right. Well then, what if it goes to one of these chests? Is there another floor here? There's not. It's got to go to one of the chests then. Well, we have to do it. You know what? We have a thief amongst us. Let's use him. This key should fit one of them. There's a ladder, though. Kind of hard to do it when he's standing right there watching over here. Might have to actually no. This key should open up one of them. Tread carefully. You know, pass without a trace would be a good spell to use right now. Let's see what's upstairs. Chest here. Keep your distance, darling. Go. The shapeshifter's key fit perfectly. Now, what's inside? Real room. Okay. All right. He's motioning for us to come up. Should mind my Let's step. go. All of us. So, what's here? Bloodstained parchment. A 
list of names. Father Logan's on here. Crossed off. A target list, perhaps. Messy splatters of deep red brown adorn this scrap of parchment. Those wishing to face the dread Lord's Tribunal and enter the Temple of Baal must slay the targets on this list and frame the corpses as a murder by the cult of the Absolute. Bring the victim's hand as proof of the killing. Ah, I see. Walk in blood, aspirant. Duke Belaine Stelman killed. Hmm. Father Lorgan killed. Dribbles a clown. Why would they want the dribbles? Killed. Alexander Rainforest. Office near the Counting House Lower City. Frank Pear Tree. Abode near Fiogras Fireworks. Lower City killed. Cora Highbury. Large home near Baldur's Mouth Gazette. Lower City Large home near Baldur's Mouth Gazette. That's the uh, propaganda piece for... Uh, what's his face? Gortash, isn't it? Figaro Pennygood. Face Makers Fashion Lower City. Chef Rover Elfsong Tavern Kitchen. Nisha, Nesha Leisha. Blushing Mermaid. Very Vanthamper. Vanthamper Villa. Frederick Hewn. I don't know these people, of course. Oren's Nether Stone. We should investigate successful recruits uh, gain access to the Temple Ball where Oren awaits. We found the ball list target. Hmm. Okay. Impress the Murder Tribunal. We found a list of people marked for death. If we kill two targets in the list and bring a severed hand as proof, I'm not doing that. We stand before the Murder Tribunal and enter the Temple Ball. Investigate the murders. Father's Logan named appear on the target list we found, tying his murder into a test for cultists to access the Temple of Ball. We should show Investigator Valeria. Yes, we really should. Deal with the devil. We refuse Raphael's deal, but the devil said he'll still be there if we reconsider. The offer remains open. I don't think so. Free Orpheus. We learned that the key to freeing Orpheus from his chains in the astral prism is the Orphic Hammer. It's in Raphael's possession, so tracking down his lavish abode in the Hells, the House of Hope, may be our best bet. Oh, that's much easier said than done. Help Kithrak Voss. Same thing, he needs the Orphic Hammer. Solve the Open Hand Temple Murders. We found the lair of the Ball List murderer in Frego's Flophouse. Target list in the lair details the killer's instructions. Frame the Absolute for a series of murders. Father Lorgan's name appears in the list. Yes, now we should go across to... Investigator Valera, that elephant, flying elephant thing. Uh, so retrieving the Orphic Hammer. This is for Lazel. He'll be waiting for us in the sewers. We should inform him when the deed is done. This is for Voss, Kithrak Voss, the Wizard of Waterdeep. Spoke with the Devil Raphael, who told me he seeks the legendary Netherese artifact, the Crown of Karsus. Could this be the crown worn by the Elder Brain? Gale wants to learn more about the Netherese crown controlling the Elder Brain and Baldur's Gate. There is a renowned magish, magical emporium, Sorcerer's Sundries. I've been there. Known for its collection of rare and valuable magical tomes. He wants us to go there and speak with the bookseller and find out if they have anything on Netherese magic. Alright. Well, that seems to be it. Let's just see what else there is. Temple plans. These tunnels were full of shapeshifters. Father Logan's name is written here, too. What's this torn parchment say? If I can read it. This letter is torn and stained, and some of the words are indecipherable. Take the list, find the victims, and make them offerings in his name. Bring their hands to the tribunal. Prove your worth. Become first of the highest accord? I'm not sure. Sheep butchered with creative zeal. What? this about? Despite the detailed illustrations of muscle and bone, it's quickly obvious this is no medical journal. The language throughout is practical but unrefined, describing how to get the best cuts of meat, which bits are considered nolchum, and how to deal with a range of stains and odors. Looking closer, I noticed several scratchy annotations detailing how to adapt these techniques for more human-shaped bodies. Disgusting. Oh, what's this? Scarlet leather armor, a bunch of clothing. Well, we'll take the leather armor. 
eggs and chatter, doesn't it? Chest. Take all these. Water Havian cheese wedge. Water Davian cheese wedge. Blood there near the bed. Another note over there. Blood over there, huh? Notice some blood has pooled on the wooden floor. There's a chain there too. So I tried to discern the source of the blood. You notice the blood source. A body hidden under the bed. Hmm. Pull out the body? Oh, is this one of the people part of the list? To the best of wives and mothers, a tarnished ring engraved with the following to Fion. Best of wives and best of mothers. Oh, that's terrible. A flower shaped key with the S. No, five. Scratched into the petals. Fion's key, five. This key. It's identical to the one held by that corpse in the tunnels. Hmm. It's in this pouch. Nothing. Bloodstained note. Two hands now, two hands, two of them. More needed. Not enough. Must cover myself in glory to be covered in blood. More. So these doppelgangers really seem to worship Ball, or, or no, maybe not worship, but follow Ball. Just as it was in Grandmother's time, when she was here. What's this? A guide to Avernus, one hellish holiday. Scroll of Confusion. Um, Lazo. Let's read this. A Guide to Avernus. This book provides an overview of Avernus, the first layer of the Nine Hells, for the discerning interplanar traveler. The sections on geography and inhabitants repeat much of the known lore about the Blood Wars battlefield and combatants. The section detailing the politics of the plains is strung with asterisks, qualifiers, and addendums charting the ever-shifting chain of command beneath Archduke Zario, as her many commanders rise meteorically in and fall equally from her favor. Oh, I'll take these. Not just out of curiosity, let's see if there's anything out here. No. No, there's not. I think we've seen enough. We can go to that elephant now, the investigator. Curse to put my hands on everything. Odd way in. Through a wardrobe. There's a dwarf, but he's not in red. Could still be the dwarf. But if they're doppelgangers, it could be anybody, so... Alright, so we've got to go across the road to the flop... No. Basically the sex house. What is it called again? Welcome to Charesse's Caress. Where our libations and sensual indulgences restore even the weariest souls. Alright, so the, this investigator's got to accept this. Otherwise, this investigator has an agenda. Covering for Gortash, perhaps? I presume you've found something interesting to discuss, if you're interrupting me again. <laughs> I found another body in the flop house nearby. I think it's related. <gasps> you're telling me more than one person has been killed in Baldur's Gate? <laughs> you must have something better than that. Oh, yes. I need hard evidence and a motive. Why would someone else kill Lorgan? How can we be sure it wasn't Brilgor? Father Lorgan's murder is just one part of a bigger plot. A ball plot. A ball plot? You as well? devella has been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy cods wall up in fear-mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. <sighs> Fine. I'll bite. 
What's your theory? Hmm. It's not a theory. I have proof. This document contains information connecting the murders to a the Ballist resurgence. No need to wave documents at me. I'm already drowning in paperwork as it is. Constable Develler is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Mm, I wanted to go there Show anyway. Her the list, and I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you access to the lower city. All right. But what about well, getting past the gate at the end of the street? What are you waiting for? You have a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move. Figures that he would leave it for us to do. Oh, out of curiosity, that I mean, to try. that dwarf you kept on mentioning. Let me see this. The holder of this pass is provided with access to Lower City, Investigator Valera. But okay, that at the end of the road is the um, Worm's Rock Fortress. Do I not have something? Mm, I don't think I have anything else. Anyways, hello. A drow or a drink, sweetie. There is no thirst I cannot quench. Listen, I mean, a drow would be very exotic if I was so inclined, but... What's about this... Oh, wait, wait. In the flophouse lies a fresh-killed corpse. Lady Dwarf. Could that be Fion, the one that you said was absent? Murdered! Ye gods, the poor thing! Oh, by the mother of cats, I pray she didn't suffer. I'll miss that face. Else, the regulars will miss her more. They swarmed her like honeybees at the hive. They did. Oh. Losing Fion slashed a big hole in my coin purse. I should get to replacing her. Don't look at me for that. <laughs> hmm. Woman is... No, oh, surely you can spare a reward for this information? I am short of coin. I have little coin, but I offer sin in abundance. Uh, what, a free drow night? the drow twins in the tap room. They're legends among the regulars, almost myths. Tell them they're your gift from the mamzelle, and let them show you why. Anything else on your mind, sweeting? Maybe a Asterion can take that up, but not for myself, thanks. My Alright, well... Okay, so we do have to go find Gortash in Worms Rock Fortress and confront Lord Gortash. You know, we would have to have. Well, there's so much talking going on here. It's, I can barely hear myself think. Okay, let's go to camp. It would uh, probably be smart to speak to Gale about the Netherese crown, too. But we need Karlak for that. Let's see, who would be best best group to go confront Gortash? I think Will. Will. I mean, Asterion can be there, too. I don't know. I think we should have Gale, Will, and uh, Karlak, personally. Hey, Karlak. Soldier. Come, we're heading out. No room in your party. What should I do? You should swap out with Lazo. Let's hop. And I don't know. It be, might be interesting for Jahira to go there. I don't know if she she knows him. Maybe not. It'd be something more Will would know. I don't know. Hmm. Will is from the city, but he said he was. Gortash. Our very own vampires, the missing pawn in his master's deadly game. Now, how about we go and reverse Kazador's fortunes? 
I don't think Will actually knows him because, yeah, he was. He said Gortash was a minor player. I think he said he never met him before. All right. Did, could it be true Duke Stalmane allied with the Emperor? Mind flayers are like devils. They just sport tentacles rather than wings. Clever, manipulative, exploitative. The Emperor says he's a friend. I think we'd be fools to believe him. And maybe it's true. Maybe Stelmane allied with a mind flayer and subjected the city to their political will. Or maybe he made an offer she couldn't refuse. Hmm. Did you know Stelmane very well back in the day? I met her twice. The first time I was a boy of seven or eight at a banquet in the Flaming Fist's honor. One look and I was smitten. Chestnut hair that flowed behind her like willow fronds as she floated from one room to the next as if carried by clouds. The second time, Stelmane was different. Even with the aid of a cane, each step she took was a struggle. Every oh. word she spoke took great physical effort. A stroke victim, I asked father later. No, he said, a stroke survivor. You sense uncertainty in Will's voice. He questions his father's explanation. Hmm. I sense that there's something more to this story. Something's always gnawed at me. At the banquet, Stelmane didn't seem to look at us, but through us. But that second time, her gaze never left me. It was steel, sharp and unyielding. It could just be my imagination, but I always felt that it was more than a stroke that had changed her. What, though? I couldn't say. Could be a tadpole in her brain? Hmm. I'm short on sympathy. She was partners with a mind flayer, the Emperor, no less. Whatever you believe about Stelmane, she's not the only one to suffer the killer's blow. My father was tadpole. Stelmane is dead. The people are frightened and the council's in disarray. To exert control, you must first sow chaos. A tyrant's strategy. As father would say. Hmm. These murders aren't random acts. Someone no, definitely powerful not. is guiding the killer's hand, and the city is made weaker for it. I'd like you to join me. Sorry, but there's no room for me. We can always make room. Swap out with Jahira. Let's make this happen. <laughs> so enthusiastic. All right. Um, Gail, where are you? Hello there. How can I help? Uh, join me, why don't you? There's plenty of adventure to be had. I'd be delighted. Though, someone else will need to watch the cook pot, of course. <laughs> you can take Asterion's place. You'll stay here in camp. Wonderful. Lead on, then. Well, for, I'm putting together what I think would be... Not only will it be most relevant to them confronting Gortash, but the group that I th believe will be best suited to help take him down. And you're welcome to join us too, Dame Aelin. Hmm. Okay, let's return to once we came. Oh, Gail, now you want to speak? Can we go to a place that's not so loud? Maybe over here. Maybe up here. Well, let's just speak here. Yeah, Gail. 
must claim the crown of Carsus for ourselves before anyone else does. That was all you need. Okay. Well, I don't want uh, Raphael to have it. Exactly. Pleasure isn't just physical. Like what? Hello. Fruit, vegetables. What can I do you for? Hmm. Let's see what you have. No, oh, nothing important. It's not like they're selling magical fruit that will. Uh... If you're hungry, you know where to find me. We have plenty of rations. We have so many rations that we could probably survive for the next two months without gathering anything more. Just for the group that's at the camp. And my uh, people with me, too. What is this place? Calms, calms. Oh, is this a shop? What's going on? Hey, what are you doing? Are you on something? What do you want? Yay! You spoke to me! Nobody ever talks to me! My name's Narber, adventurer to be, soon to be the best adventurer anyone's ever seen. As soon as I figure out what kind of adventurer I want to be... What do you think? Can I be a fighter? <laughs> Wouldn't you know by the time you're an adult what you're most inclined for? Um... Follow your dreams and find out. Right you are. I'll just find something to punch, I guess. Hmm? It won't hurt, will it? No, surely not. Not only do you seem new to this, you seem new to life. Very odd person. Hey, hello there. Hi, oh, stranger. Thanks for stopping by Calm's Gums. I'm calm. Well, <laughs> calm men. <laughs> What can I do you for? Oh, smells sounds like a, a village name for a shop, Calm's Goms. Um, you've not quite got the patter nailed yet, Carmen. Ugh. If it's empty patter you want, get your clothes from a brother, Figaro. But if it's genuine quality and genuine taste you're after, Calm's Goms as you covered. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't name it that, but <laughs> it's your choice. Oh, wait. Carmen? Wait, uh... Your brother's in danger. I found his name on a serial killer's list. A killer? That's... God. I've no love from my brother, but that's extreme. He doesn't deserve that. Thanks for warning me. But it's him that needs warning, and he never listens to me. Where, where can he be found? See, you really don't get on with your brother. You wouldn't either, if you knew him like I did. Since Dad died, he thinks he's cock of the bloody walk. That I should give up my shop and work for family business. For him, dick. No, I wouldn't do that, either. Um, maybe Figaro wanted his sister close. You just lost your dad, after all. Maybe you should keep your nose out of where it doesn't bloody belong. Now, you want clothes or not? Hmm. <laughs> I think she's going to charge me extra now. Let's do. Let's take a look at your wares. Sounds good. Get you something a bit fresher than your current outfit. Are you kidding? Look at the gold and shiny, shiny gold armor. No. She does have a bit of, quite a bit of gold here. Uh, all I really see of interest to me are dyes. You know, I, I mean, I could dress better, I suppose, at camp. So, let's go through this and look and see what she has to offer. You know, I might buy this one. And even... What was I looking at? This one. Let's see how they look on me. Do we have anything we could sell? Uh, the ring, I suppose. Scarlet leather armor useless to us. Here we go. 
Remember, Carms Garms, here for all your fashion needs. Okay, well. <laughs> Let me try this. Well, it's in style, they say. Very form-fitting. I'm not used to such opulence, so... I'm not sure which one I like. Maybe this one. You can go back to camp. Well, I have another ring here. Jin ring. Which I do not want or need. Autumn Crocus. Hello there. Need something? I've got the tools for any job. Any job. Yeah. I see. Uh, let's trade. Yeah, I see. Any job. Thief friendly. I really don't need anything you have, though. Thank you. Whatever you're working on, hope that fixes it for you. How about we settle on the Gorgias and Fortash inventive? Oh, this again, huh? This would be quite the fight. They may not let us through. Three steel watch. Am I even prepared for such a fight? We did... Hmm. I guess I am for one good battle. What's this blackboard say? Steel watchers in operation during the coronation of Lord Gortash. Please refrain from criminal activity and be courteous to the flaming fists. Hmm. Not if they're going to protect him. Sorry, but Gortash cannot... He just cannot survive. And I'm not sure, should we just... I guess we have no other place to go. Carms, guns. What's... Across the street. Let's go up here. What's this? A hero is nothing without the right equipment. See Danthelon's dancing axe for all your adventuring needs. To meet my mother and father. Hmm. Let's go in here. I wouldn't mind a dancing axe of my own. A dancing axe. I could conjure one up for you if you like. It's tried and tested. I like it. What you going on about? Once the city is saved, Karlak's kinetic cleaver will be first on my list. Oh, speaking of that, I forgot. We gave Karlak a few weapons. Moonlight Glaive. Oh, let's try this one. Well, it should be an interesting one. Moonlight Glaive. I kind of think the trident would be best. She can do other things with it, like throwing it and it explodes. Does extra damage as well. We'll try that. So we do have some weapons to sell if this one works out. Alright, so this is a... Everything. What is this? Should speak up. Weapon shop? Greetings, sir. Your noble bearing brings a little class to my humble establishment. How may I be of service? Hmm. Let's see what you have to trade. Hmm. Short sword. Nice short sword. Okay, let's go through and see if there's anything we'd like to purchase. Oh, this should be interesting. Did cost us a little bit, but... Short father, bless you. Okay, so, I do believe this should go... This studded armor should go to... Leather armor should go to Asterion. 
And where else did everything go? Okay, cloak displacement I think should go to Gale. And Horns of the Berserker should go to Karlek. Fitting. You have a die for that. Sharp as ever. Clowns. Oh, you have the severed torso. That's where I was wondering where it went. Quite disgusting. This uh, cape does absolutely nothing for us. Oh. You must have blue dye. Where is it? I don't see it on you. Right here. Fabulous. This can go to camp. No there we go. Me yet. Minor improvement, but improvement nonetheless. Hello there. Don't draw any trouble on old Enthar. He acts like he's up for it, but he's retired for a reason. Hmm. Okay. Every weapon, scroll, and elixir is crafted to the highest adventuring standards, and that's a Danthelon guarantee. Seems like a good moment to talk. Little there, half orc. You break it, you. Well, knowing Enthar. It was already broken. Looks like a full orc to me. Right then. Wonder if the gods are watching me. What's upstairs? She has the most fabulous Fabulous. What's this? Apothecary? The Velveteen Elixir. No. Now here's someone who appreciates the finest. Shop on top Welcome, of a shop. Sir. Don't know your weave moss from your mugwort. Don't be shy. The ever stylish Horst is at your service. I take it you're Horst. Stop. Inhale through the nose. Hold. Exhale slowly through the mouth. Were you a monk? Now you've just sampled some of Baldur's Gate's finest incense. Hmm. Delicious, no? Never thought of incense as being delicious. Hmm. Uh, that was glorious, I suppose. Those are some heady top notes. Aren't they just? You clearly have excellent taste. What can I do for you, sir? Quite the establishment you have here. I must say, I'm rather proud of it. The wood panelling cost a fortune, but it's so worth it for the lux atmosphere it provides. Indeed it does. What have you got in stock? Everything alchemical from potions to poisons. Just do make sure you read the label before quaffing. Hmm? It's always a smart thing to do. Oh, you have a lot of things here. Not that I'm really hurting for... Oh, speed. Could use that. I only have one. It's not really worth very much, but that's fine. Uh, more superior healing. This should do it. Thank you. Be sure to savor each purchase. Nobody else here. Better not be cursed. <laughs> oh, this is where that ladder led. What's over here? Well, I don't think anyone can see no us. Any so, let's see if what we can find out here. This may have something to do with the flaming fist. Move 
moving in. What's here? Balsam, wisp weed, a bunch of alchemical ingredients that could have to do with the shop over there. Mergrass. Belladonna. This calls for careful fitness. We'll take that. What do we have here? It's a place for alchem alchemy. Backpack. This is crystal. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Right. I think we're done. Best be on my way. No. <sighs> Right, so I think that's everything here, isn't it? Unless there's shops across the street. Is there something on top of Calm's Garms? Not seeing any signs. Okay, let's try to get through here without bloodshed, shall we? Um, Gail. Perhaps you should quaff a, an elixir. What you have... It's not really what I'm looking for. You have a nice one that we gave you. Battle Mage's Power. Sure, drink. That, and... Um, mage Armor. Very good. The Pride of the Gate. Do we have anything? I don't know if we have any other. Elixir of the Colossus. Well, well, well. Hmm. Elixir of Bloodlust. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I'm not sure if I have one, an elixir, left for me. Um. I'm not seeing anything. Thistlebald's brewed up belly glamour. Well, that's what I. That's for combat. Oh, here. Oil of Bane. No, that's for combat as well. Poisons. Got lots of poisons on me. Here. Elix elixir of Viciousness. This could get ugly. I have. At the ready. Um. I'm not sure who's to speak to. Hello. Sorry, chum, can't let you through. Worms Rock's closed for the day. <laughs> Not closed to Duke Older Ravenguard's own son, surely. You having a laugh, devil boy? I oh, know Ravenguard, and last I knew, his spawn wasn't sporting those horns. The joke's on you. No entry. That's the end of it. So tell me what's so special about today. I know it's his coronation, but I want to hear it from her. What's so special about today? Ordination is what? Lord Gortash is becoming Archduke. All the peers came to pay regards. Somebody really went to work on your face and neck. Wow. Um. See this? I've been invited to the ordination. Won't be. You don't look the posh sort. Last door on the right. Go on. Make merry. You have to be posh. You have to be Special posh to permission. go here. We also had the. Uh, what is it? Lower City Pass. The holder of this pass is permitted entry to the city of Baldur's Gate. Pass bears the waxen seal of Investigator of Valeria. All right. I didn't want to kill any more Flaming Fists, but I have a feeling that it may come to that. Unless we can somehow get to Gortash outside of the coronation, because I'm assuming that... The, well, for all I know, he'll just have Steel Watch there. Halt! Hey. We do not know how you gained entry, 
but your trespass shall not be punished. Lord Gortash has been expecting you. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place, confident, dominant, commanding. My Gort most esteemed Gortash. guests, we meet at last. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer, slayer of the dread General Cethric Thorn. I welcome you to Baldur's Gate, my city. Hmm. A pleasure to meet me. Meet you. Could we talk face to face? Of course, of course. My steel watchers are rather adept at keeping the peace, but not entirely suitable for polite conversation. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. We shouldn't have any more trouble from the guards. No, until we're there. Will, something on your mind? Men, women, children, all barred from entry. A damn travesty. A decade ago, Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and everyone seeking refuge. Who would take in these souls, if not the Jewel of Baldurin? No, you, you said it right, Baldurin. Well, when you have the Absolute taking over control, or the Chosen, I should say, obviously they're going to change things around. They don't want witnesses, I guess. I just want to pronounce it, have their ceremony, and then pronounce it to everybody. And then I guess your father will say it's all legitimate. What a shame. Baldur's Gate has responsibility to people in need. As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one, create an army and order it to march on the city. Yes. Step two, shut the gates in the name of security. Step three, bask in the applause. Gortash hasn't made Baldur's Gate safe. He's made it a prison. And when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. To make this city a safe haven, we'll need to bathe Gortash and his allies in their own blood. Wow. All right, then. I suppose it's true. Although I would... The smarter thing to do would be able to d defeat the Absolute Army and just use your steel watch and have everybody in high places uh, with tab pulled. And then you'd have absolute control, right? That's what I would do. This is the nether brain, the elder brain. Again. The brain is resisting its orders. Without all three stones to control it, it will soon start acting on its own will. And that's really bad, you said. <sighs> Audience halls to the right. What's this say? Flaming Fist Barracks. Authorized personnel only. Uh, did we pass by a door on this side? Let's see. Yes, we did. Lord Gortash is expecting you. Please Lord Gortash can go chase himself. I almost believed you this time. Oh, look at this. Another waypoint. Hello. No time to talk. I have clients to brief, and they're as sharp as spoons. Sharp as spoons. Hello. You heard anything about what it's like in the prisons? <laughs> Actually, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Probably not good with Gortash in charge. Are they going to arrest us inside? Oh, Hello there. It's a waiting that's hard. If we could just talk to one of the fists, it would be as clear as day that we're not criminals. They're accusing you of something, I take it. Are they going to arrest us? Hello there. 
The flaming fists don't stand for trouble. So stay out of it, yeah? Hmm. Unfortunately, I'm bringing trouble. Uh... I think we may have to go upstairs. Who is this over here? Hello there. This is the armory. Not a bloody open house. Fists only. Now clear off. I'd like to trade with you. Trade? Do I look like a shopkeeper? This equipment isn't for sale. It belongs to the flaming fist. Hmm. Seek the cause of her sour mood. Can't believe they put that mindless metal Mragresham in my armory. Steel watchers. Stupid thing will probably decapitate me for cleaning the bloody mace rack. <laughs> She's in one sour mood. Steel watchers make me uneasy. A good weapon in my palm would put my mind at rest. Finally, someone who sees sense. Strong folk wielding strong blades. That's what keeps folk safe. Not those glorified golems. I don't have anything fancy, but... You're welcome to take a look. Hmm. Boiled beholder eye stalks. No, thank you. Plate. We've seen these. Think that there's anything. Splint armor. Nice. Hmm. That's light. We just bought that. I don't think that you have anything of interest to me. But it's a place to sell. When we start destroying things and looting. <laughs> if we're not fighting each other, I'll come back. Stay sharp, stranger. In these times, all we can trust are the blades in our hands. Are they going to arrest us? Okay, let's try upstairs. Warning posters wanted. Let's see what it says. Wanted. Iron hand knows. Oh, I see. What's this one? And this one? Warning. Recruitment. Gortash. Hmm. Can't seem to read these. Wanted. The Stone Man. Ah. Leader of a dangerous criminal enterprise. Reported to travel with a mouse. Huh? Um. Wait. So, uh, the. What was the stone something? They were fighting the. The Zentrum. Let's read. Maybe they're not so bad if the uh, Gortash wants them. Let none transgress on this blessed day. Lord Gortash's ceremony will proceed without hindrance. Non-compliance will be punished. Okay. Oh, there's n nothing here. Let's try this passageway. Oh, is this the prison? Somebody's been drinking. The guard is fast asleep. Bathed in a ten day. Eat all the onions. <laughs> Listen closely to the guards babbling. find no meaning in her mutterings. 
Excuse me. What now? <gasps> Goodness, how embarrassing. I had a heavy lunch. <laughs> Welcome to Worms Rock Prison, the fifth nail we jail. What's your business? Uh, how to detect her thoughts. Hopefully I'll be able to find out what it is. I need to lay off the hooch. The man it finds out, she'll kick me clear to Neverwinter. Hmm. You let me through and I won't tell the man up of your lunchtime tipples. Well, <laughs> who am I to argue? Hang on, I'll let you through. Well, in you go. And don't feed the prisoner. Makes him cocky. You have a prisoner? Well, this reminds me of too many places that we've been in. The Goblin Camp. That temple that was they were using as their headquarters. And then um, Moonrise Towers. Storage room. Nobody in there. There is someone in here. Hello. What do you want? Poof. They don't keep them well uh, clothed, do they? Um. Not your attitude, that's for certain. You're the one pestering old men in cages. Now scram with your sour puss. You're disturbing my sitting time. That's all you have. What about this one? <gasps> I was just thinking of where Floric was. Hey. F You're too late. What? They tadpole you already. By Avernus. Floric. Will, is that you? What curse has befallen you? No matter. The city, the future, it's done. You know, they said that in my grandmother's time, too. So what happened to you? The Steel Watch happened. I came seeking allies to our cause. Watchers spotted me. Dragged me to Alder Ravenguard's husk, empty as a stair. Your father's a tadpole's puppet. We well, know, we know. Nothing more. He spoke in accusations, apostasy, conspiracy, sedition. I'll be executed in five dawns. The hell's with that. Nothing is over. Not while I still draw breath. I'm breaking you out. Baldur's Gate needs you. Ravenguard needs you. When the people need a miracle, you cannot wait for the gods to answer. Father's words. Indeed. To think I'd almost forgotten. No more sulking. I know what to do. And I can only do it with the help of the blade. <laughs> Unlock my cell. Escort me out of Worm's Rock. I'll seek out my connections. When the city streets shatter, you'll want their blades. Listen. But if we do that, every we'll be fighting our way out everywhere. We have a coronation to stop. I'll find a way to unlock your cell. Hurry. Well, we don't need a Sterian for everything. Oh! Is that Arfur? Huh. He did say that somebody, you know, 
wanted him. That's terrible. Okay, that's that man. You know, I should, really shouldn't be doing this in my armor. Wait till he goes. And we'll unlock it. I think we're going to leave it. Uh, let's just not bother. Because we might have to end up fighting everybody. So, we'll leave. Come back afterwards. With Gortash dead, she should be um, easy to free. Let's see what this does. And if the fists try to stop us then, then so be it. But at least it won't look suspicious when we bring her out. Yeah, we will have to get her out. Right, let's... Uh, Yes, so we know. There it is, so the rest of the city. Mizora. What are you doing here? If it isn't little Will, straight to your handler. And I didn't even have to whistle. Mizora, I've had enough. You owe your life to me. Time to end the pact. Feeling cheeky, are we? Most unbecoming. Heard about your father. The Absolute's puppet. A damned travesty, if you ask me. He's upstairs in Worms Rock, ordaining Gortash as Archduke. A splendid party, I hear. Perfect for crashing. Hmm. Go on up. We'll talk after. After the, uh, the battle. Hello? What's up for discussion? Look, I'm all for Gortash, but those clankers... They don't sit right with me. Because they do your job better than you and without complaining. It is unnerving. Imagine where we'd be without them. The city would be overrun. They're all that's keeping this cult at bay. <laughs> he has a point. They make people feel safe, if nothing else. Ha! You hear this? Tell my friends how safe you feel with those metal giants stamping about. You shouldn't trust them. They'll turn on all of you eventually. You've been reading too many picture books. Lord Gortash himself is the one pulling their strings. That's the problem. We're all better off for it. Fools. And who would this be? Hello. Master Porter, I've taken the liberty of... Oh. You are not the master. Just as well. <laughs> Alright. I would like to keep this as bloodless as possible, but I don't know how this is going to go. Probably not too well. Is expecting you. Hello there. Please make your way to sorry, sorry. These dukes are working me to the bone. They are. Hello? Head up, chest out. Lord Portier could descend any moment. The posh, the well to do, okay. Hello there, Cook. Broth's babbling, no time to talk. You think they would have an army of cooks? Please make your Let's way go. to the audience chamber. Well, it's the well-to-do the city, not the commoners. Well, and all their attendants. Right. I see f five steel watch.
plus Gortash, and he'll have Duke Ravengard under his control. This is why the six, two, three, four, five, and the one behind six. It's a bit much. Not to mention the flaming fist that's around. Might not be able to confront him right now unless something happens. Kinspeople, Baldurians, and dearest Duke Ravengard. Thank you for joining me on this exceptional day. It's him. Gortash. We know. This is it. I can practically taste his blood from here. My father's here, Karlak. Cool your fires. He must not come to harm. Will's right. We attack Gortash and Ravengard falls too. Fine. I'll wait for now. But that prick Gortash is going to pay. He has to. A moment, please, my friends. An old acquaintance has come to pay her respects. Please, Karlak. Come and say a proper hello. My respects? You're lucky I've agreed not to shove my boot up you! Ah, how I've missed your colourful turns of phrase. We must catch up just as soon as I've had words with your little friend. As for you... Not so little. I understand congratulations are in order. Thorm's defeat hasn't gone unnoticed. You're known for who you are and for that netherstone that you carry. <laughs> you want me to be part of your chosen, do you? The quakes are a clear warning. If nobody steps in soon, it'll free itself from the authority of the crown. I expect it'll start with turning the Sword Coast's infected. You among them. A prism of yours won't last indefinitely. Next, the grand design. The Mind Flayer Empire reborn. If we're lucky, we'll become slaves. If we're unlucky, well... Not the most thrilling of prospects, but it's a fate that can be avoided. If you and I come to an understanding... You started together, this. We can still restore authority over the brain. Of course. Gortash always did have an eye for opportunity. I saw this coming. What kind of understanding do you suggest? There's an old wisdom. A brittle alliance can never be mended. It can only break. <laughs> With Ketherick gone, Orin proved treacherous. Baal's chosen wants the Netherstones for herself. She only cares for blood. And your blood and mine are of particular interest to her. So what are you getting at? Orin changes shape faster than you and I change clothes. You know, she's tricked you before. She's targeted me as well. I'm well protected, but she's extremely good at what she does. If Orin obtains all three netherstones, she'll plunge the coast into chaos and paint the city in blood. I can't let that happen. I want to lead this city to glory, not scorch its earth. <laughs> Didn't I read something from her that said Ball has promised her that she'll be the last one alive in Toril? And then she'll have to be taken out as well. Uh, she'll be the last one... Yeah, to die or something like that. You want me to believe that you mean no harm to the city? I'd like to propose a pact. A divine oath sworn upon spirit and flesh. I do no harm to you, nor you to me. <laughs> Furthermore, you'll have nothing to fear from my steel watch while our pact stands. Thorm's stone is yours to keep. When you slay Orin and take her stone, you bring it here. So the three are united once again. Yes, yeah, so you can take it from Together, me. Together we rule Faerun as kings. No, more than kings. Gods. We rule as the absolute. And my father? 
Your father will do whatever you command him to. Ugh. Like any other subject in our kingdom. What do you say? Shall we be allies? I don't really see much of a choice. Is I can detect no deceit. This alliance could serve us well. And if it does not, well, we need not honor it. Hmm. Let's be allies, said the viper to the frog. <laughs> I was going to say, the other brain could destroy everything. It would make what these... Well, no, because they wanted to control the universe, but... Hmm. I'm going to try to probe Gortash's mind. Hmm. This one shows promise. He keeps his word, I keep mine. We will rule as one. Interesting. I also know a little bit about Bane, the god he follows, the lawful. Hmm. As allies, it seems none of you can be trusted, you, Orin, Kethrick. So Kethrick was ready to betray our alliance too. I can't say it comes as a surprise. But you should know this. I initiated this plot. I brought Kethrick and Orin together to create the Absolute. They knew this would only work if we stood united and coordinated our powers. Their ambition blinded them to reason. I don't suffer the same affliction. In short, you can trust me. Mm, trust evil, huh? I'm not going to pledge an oath to this man. I'll think about it. No promises. Perhaps a demonstration of why you need my help will motivate you to make the right decision. Your camp is compromised. One among you is an imposter, a faceless. Who, I can't say. I'd suggest a thorough investigation. You'll find I speak the truth. Take that with a grain of salt. This is Gortash we're talking to. The faceless in your camp is like a knife at your throat. Remove it quickly. You mean a doppelganger? The alliance between us would be exceedingly short-lived. Or is it Oren? How am I supposed to find Oren if she can change her form so easily? Even horror has a home. Find her nest and slay her there. For all its charms, Baldur's Gate has long had a cancer at its heart. A hidden temple devoted to Baal. That's where Oren became what she is. Where she worshipped and schemed. And now, it's where she hides from my watchers, when she's not spilling blood in the streets. You're resourceful. I trust you'll sniff it out. If the trail goes cold, follow the bodies. You, Orin, Catherick, the Brain, what was your plan? First, Orin the Red, bloody dagger of Baal, causes panic in the streets through killings in the Absolute's name. Which she's doing now. Next, the threat of the Absolute's monstrous armies formed by Merkel's general, Catherine Thor. In such circumstances, people crave strong leaders. Leaders that bring law, order, and protection. Leaders like me, Bane's unyielding hand, author of justice. You are soon to witness the people of Baldur's Gate granting me complete power over them. All out of fear of the Absolute. Next, I, we, will declare curfew and begin infecting the masses. Our mm -hmm. subjects will hear the voice of their absolute god. This is terrible. The faithful will do anything in the name of their god. I 
Where in the Nun Hells did you find a powerful artifact like the crown? Powerful connections. Let's leave it at that. Hmm. And then, once everyone's infected, so begins your tyranny. Our tyranny. And we are saviors. Defenders of the Sword Coast. Our loyal subjects will love us, not hate us. What comes next will be entirely their fault. <laughs> I've heard enough. Am I free to go? Soon. First, come and be witness as I make history. The first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. All right, it's fine. Let's get this over with. You will follow me, and you will show due respect. Distinguished dukes, patriarchs, dearest Raven Guard, I will heed your call. A new chapter begins. Enver Gortash, swearest thou by Baldurin's blade to defend the citizens of Baldur's Gate from enemies within and without? I swear. He is the enemy within and without. Swearest thou true faith and fealty to the same, by word, deed, and decree, so that none may suffer? I swear. Gather guests. Grant ye consent. <sighs> I nod. Enver Gortash, the council appoints you Archduke of Baldur's Gate. My friends, the Steel Watch stands ready. Let its blade fall on any who would diminish our city. And you, honored guest, will find me in my office above when you return. Do not come empty-handed. <laughs> You're inspired by that, Gale. Were you? Karlak. So there you have it. Lord Enver Gortash, in all his glory. What did you make of him? He seemed like an absolute fraud and a very nice coat. Yeah. Fucker always had expensive taste. I don't know how anyone in this hall could fall for this charade. Isn't it obvious what a chancer he is? It's what power and control does. He also is instilling fear, or through him and through Orin, and also through Ketherick with the army that's now soon to be here. When people are scared, they'll do whatever it takes to feel safe. And they expect these big metal monsters to tuck them in at night while the Absolute knocks on the gates. If only they knew the truth. The Dead Three orchestrated all of this, and it's working. I wish this city, the people running it, were smarter than me. Gortash isn't their salvation. He's the monster at the gate. I completely agree. I'm sure each one of these people will be tadpoled. Do you want to speak to your father, Will? Duke Ravengard? Truest of souls, bathed in her light. There is a fleeting connection. Your parasite communes with his, then falls quiet. Father, my dearest boy, the hells have touched you, but you've come to me just as Gortar said you would. A true soul, no less. Father and son. Unstoppable generals. You and your allies will usher in a new dawn. Hmm.
New Dawn, is that what you call the tyranny of the Absolute brings to Baldur's Gate? Why do you say this? Only the shadows would name the sun a tyrant. Faerun suffers in darkness. Tyr has abandoned us. Helm's eye has strayed. But Baldur's Gate will soon burn bright, a beacon to light the heavens. And it will be Gortash who ignites the final spark. No, this isn't him. This is the tadpole talking. For a yes. brief moment, uncertainty clouds his mind, then dissipates. The astral prism vibrates in concord. What nonsense is this? I... The prism quivers once more. Raven Guard falters. As I said, Baldur's Gate will ascend. Tyrell's first and only grand city. Hmm. Couldn't the uh, artifact free him for at least a moment? So I call on my tadpole and explore Raven Guard's uncertainty. First comes a vision of terror, the city of Baldur's Gate taken by Lithids. But beyond the terror, there is hope. You see a beaming raven guard presiding over the sunlit city, applauded by the people. A people at peace. The true raven guard lurks somewhere in this infected mind, seeking freedom, seeking victory. Have we finished then? Hmm. Okay, I cannot can't say this. All right. Will? Incredible. To hear my father's voice speak those words. Like a stranger wrapped in his flesh. But there's still a glimmer of him in there, calling for release. I feel it. I know it. I won't let the Absolute keep him. This is my pledge. Ooh, excuse me. All right. Anybody else who can talk to? Gortash doesn't want to hear from us until we bring back Orin's stone. Hello there. The Steel Watch has made an impenetrable fortress out of the Sword Coast Crown Jewel. I can't think of a better endorsement for Gortash than that. And you? Ravenguard has not once failed this city. If he trusts Gortash, then so do I. <laughs> Hello there. Archduke Gortash, man of the people. The right people. <laughs> hmm. And you, hello. An Archduke! Finally someone who can stand up to those wretched absolutists. Right. I think we should return. Well, who are these people? Hello. A leader with some charisma. Ravenguard was quite the dullard. Hello, Mr. Archduke Gortash. Oh, you. Now there's the alchemist. a man who knows good business. Okay, we must return to our camp. I'd like to get Floric out, but I don't think that's a good idea. So it seems like we have to return here. There's no way we would have won against six or seven Steel Watch and all the Flaming Fists around, and Gortash himself. It's this way, is it not? Okay, well, we have to go to camp. And yes, I am concerned about... I'm thinking it could possibly be at, be at Yenna. She did just show up at our camp. I'm not going to... Hmm. We'll just see. I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients, and... I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. I don't want it to be, you know. Grub? <coughs> oh yes, I don't have speak with animals up. It's such a pretty cat. 
Greetings, cat. Just speaking to you. I'm not going to touch you. Cat almost makes me want to have a cat. All right, well, who could it be? It couldn't be Willers. I don't think it's any of my companions. Dame Aelin or Isabel, I doubt it. Hello. Come to bask in the glow of the Moon Maiden's sword? Be most welcome. You do think highly of yourself, don't you? Uh, Isabel? Keeping very well, I hope. Hmm. Okay. Well, who else is there? Unless they took out... No, there's no way they can take out Withers. Withers is something... Else. Withers? Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? Or mayhaps a resurrection instead? No. Uh hmm. It's not helping. Stable the Steel Watch. Gortash is protected by the Steel Watchers. We need to figure out how to stable I was just thinking that, yeah. Consider Gortash's bargain. He proposed a pack of allegiance with us. If we kill Orin and take her nether stone, he will let us rule the city alongside him, with the Elder Brain at our command. I don't want to rule the city, I want to make it the way it was before you came along. Gortash put forward a proposition. If we kill Orin, take another stone, he will let us rule the city alongside with the Elder Brain of Command. I don't think so. Uh, investigate the murders. Ask us to bring news to her constable. Yes. Elfsong Tavern. Rescue the Grand Duke. Standing by Gortash's side as he crowned Gortash, the new Archduke. He appeared, disappeared after the ceremony. Free Counselor Floric. We have to stop her execution. What though? What if we found another way out of there? Maybe one of the cells? We'd have to go look. Oh, we should return to Mazora. I forgot about that. Um... I don't think... He said one of us was an imposter. I find that hard to believe. I mean, I'll speak to everybody, but... I don't think anything's gonna come of it. Shining star of my 